All right, so we've installed NX Witness, uh, and now we're going to set up uh, cameras and the recording schedule. Um, so the first thing I like to do is go ahead and find out which cameras I'm working with. So uh, I pull in the cameras, and most of the cameras are going to come up as their manufacturer names. Uh, you go ahead and pull in the cameras and take a look around. So this one here is our IT room. So if you just uh, click up there on the uh, name of the camera, you can rename them really simply. There's other ways to do that, which I'll show you later, but right now we're just going to do the quick way. Uh, Act eye is a fisheye camera in our uh, meeting. I don't know, that's our office area. So this is our office fisheye. IT room. Uh, get the roof there. The intersection outside. Uh, there's another office cam. I believe that one's a PPZ camera, yep. So let's go ahead and rename that one. Office PTZ. Uh, let's see, we got a bit of a tech fish eye here, which means this is in our main office area. So let's go ahead and change that one to, uh, sorry, main meeting room area, meeting room fish eye. It's called Meeting Fish Eye. All right. And that's about it. There's one, two, three, four. So we got four named ones right now. So now let's go a little bit deeper into the actual camera settings. So you click on the camera, click on settings. You can do it from the tree there. You can also do it here. Uh, depends on which camera you're looking at. So let's drag that one in real fast. All right, so this is a uh, uh, regular camera here with the camera settings. So when you open it up, you can see we have several different tabs across the top. There's general, there's recording, there's motion, uh, there's de-warping, which is uh, grayed out right now. There's advanced, and there's expert. So the first thing you want to do is get familiar with the general settings. For general settings, we have the name of the camera, the actual model. Uh, and the firmware, and then uh, who the vendor is, who the manufacturer is, uh, which is in this case is Aricon Vision. Then down here we can see the IP address assigned to the camera. If you click here, it'll take you to the, the uh, IP web page for that camera. Uh, we run a ping test over here, so you can see if the camera is live and what the uh, you know delay is on it and all that sort of stuff. Uh, then you go down to authentication here. Authentication, you need to put the uh, username and the password uh, for that camera if if you want to um, uh, control that camera basically from our software um, and then you have a couple other options here force aspect ratio um, in our grid we'll go over later you have 4 3 and 16 9 uh, you can also default rotation so if you've installed a camera and it's, it's um, you know upside down in the software you can just force it to be uh, the right side up um, and then you also have the option of whether or not it's a fisheye lens camera, which this camera is not. So that's why the de-warping uh, grayed out. So um, we've renamed the cameras. Uh, now we want to do some recording of the cameras. So we want to enable recording. And one of the things you'll notice right away, if you haven't installed licenses yet on your system, that you have zero licenses. So for demo purposes, we're just going to go ahead and, and get more licenses. And you do that over here. To get more licenses um, and then activate a trial license now uh, if you're you can only activate the trial license if you're on the internet so make sure you have an internet connection when you do this for your demo systems um, the license is successfully activated uh, we got you can see we got four pro licenses for free which will expire uh, later in December uh, about 30 days from now and so now we have licensing back again so now let's go back over here and you can see one trial licenses are used out of four so good, we have enough licenses for this now. So to set up recording on the camera, um, what's happening right now is that the software is going out and it's grabbing two streams uh, from each camera. One is a really the highest resolution available, and the other one is the lowest resolution with the same aspect ratio uh, available. And we actually archive both. And the reason we do that is because the low one we use for motion detection and the high one we uh, use for display we also you do that because we can adapt um, what our software is displaying um, for high res or low res to to minimize network usage and cpu usage as well so um, this is the schedule 
Um, in the schedule, we have 24 hours and seven days. Um, you can display the quality of the, of the uh, recording you want on the grid, uh, the schedule grid, or you can display the frame rate on the schedule grid as well. It's totally up to you, whatever you prefer. So right now this camera is set for 10 frames per second. Uh, we're going to take it up to its highest, which, which should be 21 frames per second. And the quality, um, so there's low, medium, high, and best. Um, low quality will pull the lowest quality. Uh, medium will pull medium quality. High will pull high, and best will pull best. Best is basically lossless, so it's a really high bit rate. Usually we just go ahead and leave it at low or medium uh, because it's already really good. So in terms of like actual recording, you have different options as well. You can record, record always. Uh, you can record motion only, or you can control uh, record motion plus low res always. Um, and the other options just don't record. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and select um, record always. And I'm going to just drag across. So 24 hours a day, seven days a week, I'm going to be recording this camera according to what I just set, right? Now one thing you'll notice is if you change these qualities here and then you try to apply, you'll get a warning and say that, you know, the changes you made haven't been applied to the schedule. And we do that just to make sure that you, you know, you go ahead and drag that across. So let's, we just changed it to, to uh, high, so let's move it across. So there you go. So when I press apply on this camera, um, the recording will actually begin in the system. And you can see that by going down to the timeline here and blowing that up. You can see I'm getting green in there right now. So that means that this camera has just started recording. So that's one way to set up recording on a single camera. Another way is, for example, if we have two fisheye cameras, they're both very similar. You can highlight both at the same time and go to camera settings and enable recording on both of them at the same time. And this will apply the same frame, resolu uh, frame rates, same resolution and quality uh, to those cameras. And then you can uh, uh, apply the uh, best possible. You'll notice that if I go up, 15 is the best, uh, highest possible frame rate for these two cameras. So I'm good to go. Go ahead and press apply again. So I got two more cameras added in. So you can see over here now I've got these little red dots and that indicates that these cameras are set for recording and actively recording. Uh, the final one I'm going to do is this BTZ camera here. Office BTZ. So let's go there. Let's go to enable recording. Take the frame rate up as high as it'll go. And this one goes all the way to 30. Um, same thing, high and recording always. And then press apply. And we're good to go. And you can see the timeline here speed up. And there you go. Camera recording is set up. So that's a real quick, easy way to uh, name your cameras and set up recording on your cameras. Next up, we'll show you guys how to do a little bit of motion detection, a few more advanced features.